uh, a scripture that really, really caught my attention. I've heard this scripture before. And it's Isaiah chapter 68, uh, chapter 66, rather, in verse 8. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? For, or shall a nation be born at once? Uh, for as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. As soon as Zion travailed, the moment she went into labor, the delivery was quick. It was rapid. In other words, the labor was not long. It was not painful. It was not extended. As soon as she travailed, she brought forth her children. So she gave her testimony of her having a child that way. And um, she mentioned the fact that there would be rapid delivery. In other words, what you have been carrying, whether it's in prayer, your burden, your vision, that you will bring it forth rapidly. We're talking about this being a season of rapidity, a season, a rapid season for you. And so I call this, you will not die in childbirth. Now that came to me this morning after I left the room. And let me read this to you. Uh, in, in Genesis chapter 35, verses 16 through 20, Rachel dies in childbirth. Why? Because she had a long, hard labor and she died bringing forth Benjamin. And this person who dies in childbirth is the same person who earlier demanded of her husband, give me children or I will die. Genesis 30 and verse number one. Now back in those days, it was not uncommon for women to die in childbirth because of long labor, because of a difficult labor. And it was something that was very serious. It can even be serious today, but because they didn't have the medical facilities that we have now and the, the medical uh, expertise that we have now, women did die in childbirth because of a long extended labor. And so what I thought was, and I have a hard time even sharing this with the men because men don't experience labor pains. So I want to give credit and honor to all the women. My wife has had five children. So I tell people I give my wife anything she asks me for because she's been in labor five times. There's no way I can deny, deny my wife anything. People often ask me, you know, why do you always give your wife so much? She was been in labor five times. I haven't been in labor one time and I appreciate that. And I love her and anything she asks me for, I give it to her. Okay, I, I surprise you with gifts. I buy gifts because if men had to have babies, the population would be a, a lot smaller. I guarantee you. I know if I had to have children, there probably wouldn't be any reproduction taking place. But the fact is that it was a dangerous, it was very, very, uh, it could be very, very dangerous. And I heard the Lord saying that you will not die in labor. In other words, that vision, that dream, that you have will not kill you. You will not die trying to bring it forth. And I'm decreeing rapid delivery. I'm decreeing uh, Isaiah 66 and eight over your life that as soon as you travail, you're gonna bring forth, especially if you're an intercessor, if you're a pastor, if you're a leader, that business you're carrying, that vision you're carrying, that, that ministry you're carrying, that dream you're carrying, you're not going to have an extended labor trying to bring it forth. You're not gonna kill yourself. You're not going to die trying to birth that business, that ministry, whatever you're trying to birth, that dream, that vision, but it's going to be rapid delivery. It's going to come forth rapidly. It's going to come forth speedily. It's going to come forth quickly. There's going to be a rapid, rapid release and a rapid delivery. You will not die trying to bring forth your vision. You will not die prematurely. You will not die in labor. You will not die in childbirth. You will bring it forth. And it'll be something that'll be speedy. According to Isaiah 66 and 8, as soon as Zion travail, put my book up Octavian Clubhouse, I am Zion, because I'm talking about Zion now. Zion is a picture of the church. We are Zion. Zion is the is, are the people of God. We are Zion. And we're called to bring forth. We're called to bring forth 
the dreams, the visions, the, the things that God has placed in us, the burdens he's given us, the, 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 the commissions, the mandates he's given us. Uh, we're called to bring that forth. We do it in prayer. We do it as we minister. We do it in faith. But I want to decree that as soon as you travail, speedy deliveries, quick deliveries, not a long, painful process of trying to bring forth that vision, but it'll happen quickly. You'll have all the midwives you need, all the helpers you need to bring forth that child. It'll, you, you, you will not die like Rachel. You will not die like other women did in the Bible. You will not die. You will not bring forth your Benjamin. Benjamin, you'll not bring forth your Benjamin and die. But and 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 when 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 she called Benjamin Ben Benomi, the son of my sorrow. But 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 Jacob changed the name to Benjamin, the son of my right hand. He wasn't going to allow because of sorrow and pain of his mother dying in childbirth. He was not going to put that on his son. He called him the son of his right hand. You're going to bring forth your Benjamin. You're going to bring forth your Benjamin. You're going to bring forth your Benjamin and you will not die. You will not die in labor. You will not die in childbirth. You're going to bring forth your Benjamin, who was the younger brother of Joseph, the youngest of Jacob's child, children. Uh, he lost Rachel, the one he loved, the one he, he, he prayed for and God opened her womb and gave her two, two gave her this son called Benjamin, and she died. Many of you have been asking God to open up your spiritual womb, asking God to open up your spiritual womb so you can have children. God has broken the barrenness, and you're bringing it forth now, and the enemy wants to try to make it hard and difficult for you to bring it forth, but I decree that you will not die in labor. You will not die in childbirth. You will not die carrying what God has given you, but you're going to have a quick, rapid delivery. That's the word we're talking about, rapid. That's the word we're releasing this week, the word rapid, quickly, speed. God, release rapid, rapid breakthroughs, rapid deliveries, rapid success, rapid wealth, rapid prosperity. You're not going to die trying to birth that business. You're not going to die trying to build that business. You're not going to die trying to birth that ministry in that church and build that church. It's going to be Isaiah 66. As soon as you travail, who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? It was unusual the way Zion brought forth. It was miraculous. For as soon as Zion uh, went uh, travailed, she brought forth her children. Wow, what a verse. It, it was so unusual until they said, who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? For as soon as she travailed, as soon as she went in labor, the children came out. That a nation was born in a day. What? Uh, oh, I, I prophesied the things that used to take you a long time. It's going to happen in a day. It's going to happen quickly. It's going to happen. It's going to happen immediately. And people are going to say, who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such? I've never seen anything like this. I've never heard anything like this. I've never seen anybody bring forth something this quickly and this easily. Oh, who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? It says, for as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. I decree Isaiah 66 and 8 over your life. I decree that you'll not die in childbirth. You'll not have a long, hard labor, long, hard travail. But now it's coming forth and you will see in a day, in a day, in a day, quickly, easily, in a day, it'll happen for you. Wow, what a word. I didn't plan on getting that stirred up when I got on this broadcast, but I feel this. I feel this anointing. I feel this grace. I feel this word coming out of my belly. One word can turn your life around. Begin to say it's going to happen for me in a day. It's going to happen for me quickly. It's going to happen for me in a day. It's not going to take weeks and months and years. It's going to happen for me in a day. It's going to happen suddenly. It's going to happen quickly. That's our confession. It's going to happen to me quick. I'm, I, I am Zion. I am Zion. I am Zion. I am Zion. We are Zion. We are God's people. We are Zion. We're not ordinary people. We are Zion. We are Zion. And as soon as Zion travails, she brings forth her children. I am Zion. As soon as I travail, I bring it forth. I've been carrying it for a long time. But as soon as it's time to bring forth a birth, it will happen in a day. It will happen quickly. That's our decree today. I release that word. I've never released this word like this before. I've never prophesied this, but I prophesied 
rapid release and rapid uh, rapid deliveries over your ministries, your businesses, whatever you're called to do. I decree it. I speak it. I prophesy it. I release it this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow. Wow. What a what a release. What a release. Yes. Let it happen in a day. Let it happen in a day. Let it happen in a day. Yes, 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 yes. Glory to God. I'm all excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off of Facebook. Um, and I'm gonna get on Clubhouse. We're gonna discuss this on the porch. So thank you, those in Facebook. Please share the broadcast. Someone needs to hear this word. Someone needs to hear this word. Someone that's been carrying it for a long time and have been in labor for a long time spiritually needs to hear this word. They need to hear this word. So I need you to share it, share it, hit that share button, share it, let the word go out. Thank you so much, those. Yes, I'm really stirred, Apostle. Apostle Frederick, I am stirred up this morning. And, and, and when I get stirred, it's, it's really God. Cause I'm kind of a, yeah, I'm kind of a laid back kind of guy, but I get stirred up every now and then. So thank you so much, those on Facebook Live until tomorrow, same time, until you hear from me again. God bless you and double shalom. Thank you, Sandy, for your seed. I appreciate it. God bless you.